This video is going to show how to animate a sprite uh, using multiple costumes and keyboard input. So we're going to come here and we're going to see our costumes. Right now I have a costume 1 and a costume 2. I'm going to rename costume 1 right 1. I'm going to rename costume 2 here right 2. Because I want to be able to have my sprite move left as well, I'm going to duplicate this and duplicate this. And what I'm going to do now is rename it left one and left two. But I also need to alter my sprite. You can see here I can flip it on the horizontal axis. So now I have my left and my right sprites. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to grab when my green is clicked. Now because I want this loop to run endlessly, and I know this, uh, I'm going to grab my forever loop. And I know I'm going to need two different uh, statements for if then. So I want to have if my key is pressed, and that being my left arrow, I want this to run. And if my key is being pressed, my right arrow, I want this to run. Now, what do I want to have happen? Well, it all starts off with some motion. I want to change things on my x-axis. Again, all I'm dealing with here is my x-axis. I know I'm going to need four of these blocks as I come through. And if left is going negative here, um, let's do five. Let's do a little bit slower, smaller increment. And let's have right arrow going positive five on that axis. Well, what do I want to have happen when I choose that left one? Well, I want to switch my costume. I have four different costumes, so I'm going to want to switch this four times. So that's why I'm duplicating my blocks four times. And I want my costume to switch to left one. Now, because again, we're operating like a flip book on this type of program, I want it to have a wait command of something extremely small, we'll say 0.05 seconds. Uh, and again, you can play with that to get the uh, smoothness to your animation. And then I want to switch to left two. Well, I also want to change my x to negative five. So now when I hit that, I'm going to hit my little green flag. I hit left. We can see that we have that slight animation moving to uh, the left by uh, negative five. I'm going to repeat that same process here. But this time I'm going to change it to right one. And then I know I'm missing a wait command, but I'll grab that as well. Uh, I'll grab my wait and I'll put it in between. And I'll change that to 0.05 seconds. Now I hit my green flag. And you can see I have that simulated. Now it is a little jerky. Uh, one of the things you might consider doing is uh, choosing a sprite and having um, more than two costumes. So it gives a little bit more fluidity to the motion. The other thing you could think about doing is creating your own sprite. Uh, you can actually create your own sprite and draw out your sprite like a stick man to give you a little bit more flu fluidity or alter the images them themselves to change this. But again, this is just one way to program this.